is good people welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a beretta m9a3 um with a valkyrie pl2 by olight so um i have here a cook's mold and i will tell you that cooks are my absolute last resort i don't they're okay i don't like using them uh everyone that builds holsters and is veteran at it can tell you the same um when you get a cook's mold verify that the whole thing is straight because a lot of times you'll get them curved already or that they mix the epoxy wrong so they're flexible so um i've i've done a holster with this before so i know it works so this i got really lucky on this one uh the only thing i don't like is I'm pretty sure they just use putty to cover the um the safety so it's all you know jagged and well, not jagged but it's all uneven so i'm going to throw that in my belt sander just to flatten it up and and make it so it just looks a little bit better because when you want to do a full sweat shield on it that's just going to look like crap but we are doing a owb on a paddle so that's going to be a um taco style left hand iwb is pretty much what it's going to be but uh it's going to be light bearing owb so it's going to be uh pretty nice but i'm going to go ahead and sand this so i'll be right back on that here it is sanded and i cut the top so it's nice and you know, it's beveled there, so that, that looks better. So that'll that'll make me feel better. So we'll go ahead and mount the light. There we go. And then it's all that time. So it's actually going to be a uh, Rhodesian brush. So i uh, got the camo print in. We're going to go ahead and do that. So let it go. something else so what I have here is a uh, it's a widget from uh, this one is knife kits holster Smith so it looks like it's gonna be perfect to go right there so I have a little bit of a retention point right there but it's gonna cover all of the controls right there oh yeah perfect I uh, like it. Okay, we're going to come back that way. Yeah, it'll be fine. Cool. Lock that in right there. Perfect timing running out of that tape, I guess. I should get in contact with uh, Scotch, see if they'll sponsor. <laughs> I go through enough of their tape. I think I could, like, single-handedly keep them in business.
Same thing. I think I'm going to shave that down so I could go ahead and fit another plate down there. Do I have a plate that will fit, though? Looking for one in particular. Where are you? I don't think I used it recently. Don't need that one. Yeah, I'll find it. So much stuff here. Doing a, a lot of holsters lately. I think I just did, um, if I were to guess, in the past three days, probably about 32 online orders I just finished or something like that. So yeah, it's damn busy. So anyways, I can also take that out and use in that back. Oh, what do you know? That, that fits. Use one that's not bent to crap. Alright, so I just realized I, I had to shave this down, so I went ahead and shaved that. So I'll put this back on. The blocking to sit as flat as you can. That's better. Ugh, the only thing I hate about this tape, slightest nick on the side, or if you don't pull it perfectly, it breaks apart. Even. All right. I like it. Right up against it. So that'll help hold it. All right. So the retention point on these holsters, uh, or at least on this flashlight, there's two options you can do. So first one is the bezel. You know that that gives you a good positive click. And the other one is this. So that little area right there, there uh, there definitely will be a dimple there with my press. But I have these little pieces of cut fiberglass that I usually put right inside. That way, it's not crazy, but I think we'll be fine on that one. Let's see if I have a smaller piece kicking around. One of the things that stinks about giant fingers. All right, put that in there. There we go. So that should be good. And the next step would be to do the retention plate, but also this is a uh, G-code paddle. So, which sadly I don't have the paddle with me. Um, I ordered them, so I'm not going to see it till today's Friday. Probably not going to see it till Monday or Tuesday. But. Again, I ordered all my material from uh, holstersmith.com. Their sister company is Knife Kits. Absolutely love them. So, and then this is where we're going to place this guy. So we know a trigger guard goes right here, comes up. You want good purchase. So we're going to throw this guy right about there. 
and this gentleman wants cant. Good thing about the G-code is we don't have to set the cant like this. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, adjustable cant built into the paddle, so we are going to lock that right about there. Let's get something underneath that, just to support it a little bit. Okay. Now what we have to do is the retention plate, so I'll show you how I do that. Again, this is quarter inch MDF on at Home Depot. Line the sight channel jig up with the edge of the board, and then I start right where the curve is for the trigger guard. Try your best to hold it still. There we go. So M9 A3 PL2. I'll cut that out. I will be right back. Get this cut like a glove. Okay. Mount it. Okay, you want to put it right. In the middle. And then you want to see. Oh, cool. Make sure it's straight on both axes. There you go. And then what I do from here is take my thickest tape and I go from the edge of the, the bezel. bezel, hold it up, and then pinch it down. So what you're doing here is you're not going to allow the kydex to go underneath, and then it, it can create just like a bubble in it. It just doesn't look good. So that is looking good. So we're going to go ahead, heat up our Rhodesian which again is this, and uh, this is a 12 by 12, so it's a little large, we won't need that big. So this guy does want a sweat shield, threaded barrel, so we'll chop it right about here, just to get a little bit off. All right, again, there's the print, and uh, it's gonna go in the oven. We'll heat it to minimum 350. And I'll press it, and with a little movie magic, you don't have to wait, and you'll see it in a second. And here she is, straight out of the press. That looks good. Uh, I like it. Great definition. Everything's poking out where it should be. I think this is going to be great. Open it up. All right, let's go ahead mark out where we're going to go. Cut the muzzle. Let's see here. I usually go right here. It's going to be an inside the waistband. You obviously want it to look good too, so maybe I'll just cut it down. Cut it down flat. We'll do retention, retention, Yeah, that'll look good. Just 
doing this to line this up just so we could get where the trigger guard is. And see if he wants, he does want a sweat shield. So we'll come up. We'll go straight across. Just like so. All right, cut it, drill it, clean it, and I'll be right back. So here it is, fresh cut, sanded, drilled, and shapes the whole shebang. So I, I went ahead and, uh, like I said, I drilled it, I cut it, I sanded it, I cleaned up all and all the edges and everything, and I think it's it's absolutely phenomenal. So, right, goes in. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be the outside of the waistband. So I did a low cut here, and then I kind of did a competition cut right here. So I think that's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Uh, again, this is a paddle with a uh, Beretta M93 with a PL2. PL2 is actually a pretty easy one to work with, but uh, I don't have a paddle with me. It's going to be delivered Monday. Um, otherwise, I would normally just drill it and, and be all set, but it is not the same uh, template. So I'm going to go ahead, set the retention on this, and then one Monday when the uh, stuff comes in, I will send it out. But that is the finished product. Well, not the finished product, but as, as far as I can today, of an uh, IWB, or I should say a taco style, um, outside the waistband on a paddle. So this would technically be a left-handed IWB. But you get the gist. This is how it looks. And this is how it feels, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Again, still got to set that, but I'm not expecting any difficulties, so bam. Oh.